A good morning to you, Pilly. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Great, thank you. So the reason I invited you on for an interview is because I saw in the Amazon FBA channel, you posted a win where you're making 3K dollars a day through your, is it a private label or what would it be classified as? Uh, Amazon FBA and FBM, basically just depending on the product. It's not private label or anything. It's not anything fancy. It's just like selling stuff. For okay. Profit. I see. What insights did you get from the real world? Why did you stick around? The one thing that was good is so like speed, doing things quickly. That's very true and good. Like Andrew says, do things fast, like fast mm -hmm. and well. The faster you do them, the faster. Like that's completely true. Abundance mindset that really helps. Like uh, just in life in general. So just small things because like i said i don't use i honestly don't have that much time but i am glad i joined like it's it's nice just to kind of pick and choose what you want from it you know how long were you doing amazon fba and amazon fpm before you joined the real world i started trying to do what i'm doing in about september of 2022 but like not super seriously basically things really started picking up like end of november early december it just kind of i don't know i figured it out okay so very recently congratulations mm -hmm. <clears throat> since you say you don't spend that much time in the real world would you not have much to say about the community and the winds channel or would you have something to add it, my honest opinion is i think some of the people in uh, the chats, like and stuff, when I look through, they, they ask too many questions. Like there's things that they need to like, cause you need to figure things out yourself. Like no one's gonna show you the right, like exactly how to do something in, well, at least in what we're doing because it's like business. So, but uh, I don't know, everyone is motivated and everyone's like trying to do stuff, so. I don't have any issues. It's all okay. good. Mm -hmm. But other people I've interviewed, they have said that going to the professors helps them a lot with any questions they have and the professors mm -hmm. usually answer. So in your case, did you go that to the professors? True. Yeah, like I've only asked a couple questions just in the chat and like I've gotten a response pretty quick, which is good. Pretty good yeah. response too. Like, uh, how to set up a US bank account like easily basically like without going into too much detail like they just uh recommended a couple places that did the job well okay. and how long would you say it's it takes to start making money if someone begins Amazon FBA or FBM with zero experience honestly like it's just as fast as you want to work like i don't know there's no timeline like it's making if you want to make like a dollar doing it you could literally it could take you like a day and if you want to like start making <clears throat> i don't know for me it took like a month or two to really like pick up nice like i was making money before but like now it's like, it's good. It's like full time. Like it's all I do kind of deal. How many hours per day were you putting in until it started picking up? So honestly, I was putting in uh, less hours before, like now that it, things have picked up, like I'm working all the time. But before it was like, I don't know, it was gradual. Like I started out because it, it, it was like, I don't want to go too in depth about what I'm doing, but uh, it started with doing a lot of basically research. Like I just kind of, I thought it was cool what I am doing. So I was looking into other people that do what I do and how they do things and just learning. And I still was working. So, uh, I 
I didn't have as much time, but yeah. So I don't know, like say a couple hours a day for a while. And then it slowly picked up and better and better things got. And then by the end, uh, well, now I just, I do this all the time. Now going back into the real world, what were the three biggest lessons you've learned from it? Well, so like I said earlier, uh, abundance mindset, big one, speed is big one. Just like do things quickly and well which basically means just work a lot, which like with anything, if you work hard, you can, you'll do it, I guess. Like, I don't know if you like, that's, uh, maybe that could be the third thing that I learned. Oh yeah. The universe is, is very, is very giving. Like if you work and you want something uh, and you work at it a lot, like you actually start being paid back like more than you thought you would i don't know how to describe it really but yeah, like yeah. that that is also true tate usually says newton's third law for every action there's a equal and opposite reaction something along those lines so the more you put into it the more you get back okay yeah now- maybe not uh maybe not like I think that's true, but I think it's like, um, like the time timelines don't like, mat like don't match up as much. Like so, basically, I don't know. I'm I'm only talking about my personal experience, but I did a lot of work for not for like no money or anything. Like, but now I maybe now, like you said, because there's an equal and opposite reaction. Now I'm like getting all the payback from that because for a while i was getting no payback yeah, yeah, yeah so that makes yep. sense and now what advice would you have to people just starting out in amazon fba or amazon fpm business is a competition and uh as hard as you want to work is as successful as you're going to be basically aside from like if you're just given a million dollars that would help a lot but the end of the day yeah business is competition so if you work hard hard slash harder than your competition you'll be successful eventually might not be uh soon but it will eventually happen that's about it just work hard if it like honestly it just comes down to if you want something you work hard at it and you will get it all right and usually nothing is going to be handed to you yeah nothing's handed to you even uh like you can get help and you can talk to people that are like i don't know in the same situation as you but at the end of the day you have to do the work yourself and you have to figure things out yourself because if somebody else figured it out already then there's a good chance that it'll be hard for you to make money off of it because someone else already has like you need to figure out something new yourself it doesn't uh doesn't have to be groundbreaking it just has to be like a new way of doing things or a new blah 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 you know just something new that's how you make money at least doing this because like uh amazon is like from what i've noticed it's a very like how do you say like very like temp like i don't know i heard it i heard it be called a template business and i think that's a pretty uh solid uh representation not representation pretty solid like way of describing what it is because uh so in saying that if you have a template business you need to find a new way to do things it's even more important because like a lot of the other variables are the same for making money because like everyone's on amazon everyone's doing the same things but you just you just have to find something new basically Mm -hmm. or find a better way to do something right and something i should have asked alio how did you find out about the real watch uh 
I think through YouTube maybe because I don't I got rid of all my like social media and stuff but uh I still go on YouTube and like watch videos well not so much now but I did and uh like Andrew Tate would show up a lot and I was like yeah this guy's kind of smart and then um honestly like call me a uh like uh not a sucker but like basically he said i saw a video where he said like if you like can't afford the i don't know i don't even know how much it is for the real world like 49 dollars 40 if you can't afford that for something that could be uh that could be like life changing for you like you have honestly other problems to like worry about if you can't afford like you know what i mean like if you can't afford the 49 dollars a month like you gotta figure something else out <laughs> but anyways like uh um yeah so basically whether he said that to get uh more people to join or not like i'm like yeah fair enough so i just joined just to try it out and i'm like yeah it's pretty decent but honestly i think uh I already had some knowledge because I've been doing a lot of research, but so, so, so when like, it's not as groundbreaking, but honestly, if I had no idea about any Amazon or anything, the real world would be like very helpful. Cause they like lay out a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Like I already kind of know, but, uh, I, but I, yeah, I still get, I, I get value out of it or else I'd cancel my subscription. So mm -hmm. it's worth it, I think. That's fair enough, yeah. And now going back to you personally, where do you see your future heading in six months to one year? So another funny thing I saw in an Andrew Tate video is um, it was Tristan was saying something along the lines of like, uh, don't start trying to make money and then just be like i can't wait till i'm a millionaire like i'm gonna be a millionaire i'm gonna be just work hard and just as your life improves just set goals and just be like i want to do this i want to do this and then you just once you do it you're like oh that's nice now what's next now what's next instead of being like my life's fucking shitty but in like six months i'm gonna be a millionaire and then it'll just all be good like that's not like how you should that's honestly a terrible way to even look at it i think um but yeah like just improve yourself and then it's good and just set goals i guess and then you achieve those goals like honestly so to answer the question in six months i guess one goal would be to have my own apartment but other than that my goal is just to make money, basically. Mm -hmm. Keep going to the gym. Um, yeah, that's about it. Cool. And before we end off, is there any advice you'd want to give to people? Yeah, just work hard. Like, work hard and you will get what you want. And <clears throat> if you're not getting what you want, you probably aren't working hard enough, basically. But then... There's a bit of nuance to that because if you're just working hard at a nine to five job, that doesn't make as much sense as if you're working hard at building something for yourself. Well, if you want to work hard at a nine to five, if, if you want to be the king of your nine to five job, then yeah, it makes sense to work hard at your nine to five job. But like, obviously, <laughs> I don't think many people want that. Uh, but that comes back to my original point. Just if you work hard, you will get what you want. And if you're not getting what you want, you're probably not working hard enough. And like, that's the only way you can really look at it because otherwise, like, like if you're not getting what you want, then I don't know. You just, you need to work harder. There's no, like anything else is just an excuse other than what I just said. Like if, if you're not getting what you want, you're not working hard enough. And if anything else is an excuse, basically. Yeah. yeah. Happy to end it there. Thank you for your time, Pilly. Yep. Have a good one.